This is James Diamond with Glock CNC, and I would like to talk to you today about something brand new. This is the latest adapter that we have for the Tag Mill. It's a little bit different than a previous generation. The previous generation had two pieces to it. This is simply one. And it mounts right here where normally the dovetail kind of plate would go. And we include the hardware so that you can screw this right onto here. And this is our heavy duty headstock right here. So it's got these flange sides, as you can see. And they mount in right here. Now you can either have the upper position or you can use the lower position in this. And the reason we did the, uh, two different ones is the, actually the lower one you'll get a little more rigidity out of because it doesn't go beyond the carriage. You can't really see it, but this sticks up about that much farther than what the actual carriage is for the Z-axis. And the reason that we actually did that is because for the people who like to use our R8, it sticks a little further below. For example, we're here at the bottom, it sticks a little further below and that means, in fact, this one does too, the uh, ER40. And that will keep you with quite a bit of Z-axis by raising it up here. You're nearly not going to lose much rigidity. This is a one-inch solid chunk of aluminum. So it's pretty solid, and this thing bolts in there very solidly. The other nice thing about this adapter plate is it's wide, and it actually covers the entire width of the carriage on the TAG. So you can really get a solid machine out of this because it's a better system of transferring energy into the column. Also on this is kind of a bonus right down here. I know you can't see it overly well, but there's a hole here. This is an M40 hole and it is designed to hold this. This is, an, this is just a cheap Chinese one I picked up. It's an AXA uh, quick change tool post. So you can actually use your mill as a lathe. Of course, in order to do that, what you'll have to have is the headstock on the bed itself to be able to use it as a lathe. Now what you can do is you can take the headstock off from here with the motor still attached to it. You put it right on here and you put your tool holder here and you have a fully functioning lathe and if it's a manual mill it's a manual lathe and obviously if it's a CNC mill you got well you now have a CNC lathe so there you have it there's the latest and greatest all the hardware will come with this mounting up's real simple all you have to do is just remove that little dovetail plate that has these eight socket head screws in here and then you'll put this on and you're good to go and one other feature i will mention on this kind of a another bonus now sureline when they mount their i'm gonna just kind of scooch over here sureline has this post let's see if i can get a good angle on it here it has this post that slides right into here on the headstock and the nice thing about that while i don't care for that at all as far as being a way to mount the headstock securely the nice thing about it is that if you want to rotate the headstock we have a little hole right here so that you can put one of these posts right on here and you will have the option to be able to uh, rotate your headstock on your TIG. All right so there you have it there is the latest and greatest with GlockCNC.com and the take adapter.